What's up guys, Tyroy521, back for another LEGO custom painted minifigure showcase for you. And today in this video we have my LEGO Barry Berkman slash Block custom painted minifigure from the HBO television series Barry. One of the most underrated comedy slash drama series I have seen in a long time. It of course follows Bill Hader, who is a hitman who has to track down a target in an acting class. But then soon after discovers, you know, this acting thing, this is kind of, this might be a good fit for me. He wants to get out of the hitman business, and he realizes, hey, I might be a pretty good actor. Um, so like I said, it kind of, it's in a way, it's like Breaking Bad. It starts off as a dark comedy, but over the course of the two seasons that have aired thus far, it has slowly kind of formed more into like a, a, a serious drama, even though there are still comedic elements in it. It is more of a drama at this point, I would say. Um, and that's what I think I love the most about it. It's very, it rides that line very well. Bill Hader is phenomenal in it. I cannot wait to see him portray adult Richie Tozier in uh, It later this year. Um, I'm a massive fan of Bill Hader at the moment as a result of this show. And yeah, I just cannot sing my praises about it enough. Fantastic supporting cast as well. Um, you know, with actors like Steven Root and of course Henry Winkler who won an Emmy for it. Um, just very, very, very great show. Highly recommend you check it out. There's only, like, two seasons out right now. I think a total of, like, 16 episodes. You got, like, almost a, probably, like, a, about a half a year, maybe, before the new season airs to catch up on it, and I highly recommend you do so. So, I painted Barry in the outfit he wears at the end of season two, where, kind of spoiler alert, he shoots down this, uh, he shoots up this whole big warehouse trying to find Fuchs and kill him. Um, who of course is played by uh, Steven Root, um, but yeah, so he's kind of painted in this uh, this uh, gray or this um, dark green uh, jacket, as well as a gray sweatshirt underneath it. So you can kind of see the details of that. You can see kind of the the color of the sweatshirt and the color of his black shirt right there. Uh, just some different creases in the sweatshirt, and then the the black uh, kind of outlined in black the uh, the pockets of his hoodie. Um, you can see his jacket, different, uh, see his different creases on there, and then you can see the lapels and the pockets and whatnot painted on the jacket. There's like a little blue lining that kind of sticks out on this side, so that's what that blue is supposed to be. Um, he's carrying a handgun, which is just a standard Lego, or a standard Brick Arms handgun that, um, fits the, the gun he had in the scene quite well. Um, his legs were just like light gray legs that I just painted in dark blue to resemble jeans, and then he's got black shoes painted on. It's hard to tell, but I kind of painted a black, um, just a little bit of black at the uh, the at the end of the sleeves of his shirt, um, just to kind of resemble like little cuffs of the jacket right there. Um, we kind of take a look. You can see the back detailing of his jacket. You can see the back of his jeans painted on there. Um, he's got the, you can see the collar of his uh, of his sweatshirt or of his hoodie kind of hanging over the top of the jacket. That's why that part is gray rather than like dark green or black. Um, you can just see different creases in the back of the jacket, and then just kind of some more line work, some more stitching, whatnot in it. Um, his hair, we can kind of take a look at the back from right here, is a Superman hair piece, so I can kind of focus in. It's a Superman hair piece, which I cut the spit curl off of, and then sanded up the, or sanded down the, um, uh, just the, uh, the area that was kind of sticking out with the part of the spit curl. Kind of make it look like it was more combed in, or combed to the side. Um, and I think that resembles his hair very well in this show. I was gonna sculpt on the hair piece, but then I figured, nah, the Superman hair would look even better, and I'm really glad I did, because I think it captures his look in the show very well. Um, his face, you can see I just painted on the eyebrows. I believe it started off as a, as one, as like an elf, just the standard, like, Legolas face. Um, I kind of repainted the eyebrows in a dark brown, I erased the mouth and painted on kind of like a open mouth look, kind of like a confused uh, bewilderment, disbelief look that he has throughout a lot of the show, um, with the tinge of sadness in there because he is a very kind of sad character despite the, the hilarity of the TV show. Um, you can see he's got stubble painted on there, which I think I did a very good job with that. I think stubble, I, I'm always worried to do it because I'm always worried I'm going to screw it up or it's not going to look very good, uh, but I think it actually turned out looking pretty pretty decent. Um, and then just some lines on the corner of his mouth just to capture Bill Hader's likeness, and I think I did a really good job capturing his look in the show. I thought about doing an angry expression, because of course in the scene he is bloodthirsty, looking for fuchs, just looking to 
killed this guy that screwed him over various times, which I will not spoil how, because that is part of the great that is the greatness of this show is that it constantly uh, it constantly goes directions you do not see it going, and the characters do things that you would not believe that they would do from the first episode. So, uh, very great show. Really happy with the way my figure turned out. Um, I really hope you guys like him. Um, this is just a spur of the moment figure. I made a few. I made um, over the course of one weekend. I made it in like I think like three hours it took. So it was a very quick figure that I wasn't even really planning on doing the night before I started making him. It was just kind of a spur of the moment thing, but I think for, for who he is or for what he is, I think he turned out very well. So let me know what you guys think of him. Let me know what you think of Barry down in the comments if you've seen it. Definitely recommend this show. It is pretty adult, but it is a phenomenal show. It's on HBO, and I can't re recommend it enough. I hope it wins a ton of Emmys this year, just like it did last year. So I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. And uh, yeah, peace out. Starting now.